And it's here on your afternoon show. Kevin Cole with you. It is KEXP, listener-powered radio. I'm down in the uh, performance space with Lowly, a band from Denmark, making their uh, debut uh, performance here on, uh, on KEXP and also in Seattle, playing tomorrow night at the Nordic Museum, along with Icelandic artist Solway, part of the uh, Nordic Nights series. But Lowly, it's great having you here at KEXP. How about a couple songs, and then uh, we'll, we'll chat a bit.
Danish band Lowly live on the afternoon show. It is KEXP, Where the Music Matters. A brand new previously unreleased song, 1236, uh, there. And uh, right before that, Dear Eyes from the debut full length, uh, Heba. Is it Heba or Heba? Heba, I think. Heba. Heba, yeah. Um, and uh, again, Loli uh, playing tomorrow night at the Nordic Museum, part of the Nordic Nights series that is new, along with uh, Icelandic artist Soli tomorrow night. So, uh, so Nana or Sophie, do you mind introducing the band? Yes, I'm Sophie. This is Nana, Christian, Thomas, and Stefan. It's great having you here, uh, making your uh, Seattle debut tomorrow night. How's Seattle going so far? Uh, really nice, nice and warm, sun, it's great. It's unusual. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> So, so the band grew out of a, a group project, right? You were all going to studying music at Aarhus Academy and, and then met and, and actually had a, a, a music studies project that uh, you, you weren't a group. You were put together for this project and, and wrote or recorded a couple songs? Yes, yes. <laughs> it's, it's true. We, um, it's, it's so long ago now. Um, we, we kind of... Uh, feel like a um like a real band now in a way yeah um but uh but yeah we we uh, we 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 started uh, like doing this school project and yeah we we actually we chose us uh, like we chose each other we were um, we were always we we never really played together 
So so uh, that was our opportunity to try to to make something together, and then everything just yeah. Yeah. So you were all uh, studying, you know, independently, yeah. and and chose each other for this project. Um, mm. What was the chemistry like? Did it feel like natural right away? Every, everything went so fast. Like we um, like we we just so quickly found the sound of the of our first song daydreamers um which was the the first song we we uh, record like uh, even like arranged together and everything just went so easy and yeah yeah and uh speaking of of fast i mean you put out a couple singles in 2014 and then uh simon raymond who listeners are going to know as a member of the cocteau twins yeah. also has this uh, amazing record label uh, bella union and uh, just so many KXP favorite artists on Bella Union in uh, in uh, the UK and Europe. Father John Misty, uh, Beach House, Beach House yeah. Fleet Foxes. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Just to mention a few. So I love this story, if, if this is true. Now, he saw you at the Spot Festival. Yeah, yeah know, I did. And then um, we played the show and then we went out to see some of our fr friends play afterwards. And then... We got this text or this tweet, private tweet from him saying, I just saw your show. You're welcome to join the Bella Union family anytime, if you'd like. <laughs> and we just went crazy because, yeah, we didn't really, we, we, we didn't know he was there. And it's just exactly what we wanted. I've seen him at shows before. Okay. Is he excited? <laughs> or? Just hanging out. So he's, maybe he's always just like looking for, uh, for bands. But that's so cool. That's, first of all. Yeah. For any bands listening, that's really inspiring. I think. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. You should, you should uh, always think that there maybe could be somebody in the audience that is important for you. Yeah, you, or they are always important, I guess, the audience. But yeah, but you you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. So he sends you a direct tweet. Yeah. And within twelve hours, you signed to Bella Union. Um, no, not exactly. That's the myth, huh? That, that, that's maybe the myth. We had some lawyers look at a contract and stuff like that, but but we met with him and yeah. Yeah, um, that that's a uh, that's super cool. Now, um, so I also read about this band Trams or Trams. Yeah, mm. yeah. That uh, I love this idea. So you opened for them mm. and must have had some kind of connection. No, no. we didn't. Or, or, I mean, like, after, at least, where they gave you a list of, uh, of bands that they recommend you listen to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think everybody should get that. Yeah, exactly. Even if, uh, it, when it's that list, I think we got uh, Cocteau Twins and Marky Moon. And yeah, yeah, the list I got, everybody should get this list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wires, Pink Flag, Brian Eno's, Here Come the Warm Jets, Slint's Spiderland, Television's Marky Moon, Fugazi's The yeah. Argument, and Cocteau exactly. Twins. Mm. That's, that's pretty amazing. So um, as you all were in, in uh, the music, our Who's Academy independently, are all your tastes super varied? Um, so I, I guess they are. Yeah. We are like, I, I mean, our music is put together of so many different genres and tastes that, I mean, I think that's what we like about doing music together. Yeah. I mean, that we, we don't like, like all the same bands, but we're getting there, <laughs> sort of. But um, yeah, we're trying to make music that's like not too much of a genre, but fits all of us, I guess. Yeah, it, yeah it, it, does that sometimes surprise you? Like when you come together as a group and have different ideas, you, you know, whoever's bringing ideas uh, to the band, does it ever surprise you how different they end up sounding when it's done mm, yes uh, i think so i mean we brought um me and casper we usually write together and we write really quiet intimate ballads and then when stefan gets the drumming going it always gets really energetic and and yeah we have this saying that all lowly songs are like ballads with really fast drums and <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I that's guess, the recipe I yeah guess. and they start out being songs that we think oh the, these are songs that that couldn't be a lowly song and then they end up sounding like lowly so 
It's Lowly Live here on KEXP, playing tomorrow night at the Nordic Museum with Icelandic artist Sole, part of the Nordic Nights event. Now, you've uh, worked with the Copenhagen Philharmonic, and uh, when you were at Aarhus Academy, were you studying string instruments and composition and stuff like that? And how did this uh, collaboration with the uh, 25-piece orchestra come together? Well, actually, we uh, some of us studied uh, string arrangement and composition, and um, but it 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 just uh, came. I, I, that that wasn't the the start of it. Um, I think the Copenhagen Philharmonics every year in, invite like both established bands and new bands to be part of this festival, where we do or they do like sixty minutes of that band's music. Um, so. So we were just lucky, actually, to yeah. get the chance to hear our music in that sort of arrangement. What was that like for you? <laughs> it was it was a it was a it was actually quite funny because it was the day of our release of the the debut album, and we didn't really listen to to it a lot. And like right after we finished it, and then the and then playing with the orchestra kind of made us listen to the songs in a new way and and also we get this uh, inspiration to to know like maybe i don't know i i just i just feel that we had these kind of uh, new ways to look at the songs and that kind of made us like them a little bit more yeah and, yeah. and also play them maybe differently or with another energy or yeah definitely yeah, yeah I, I would think that would be really powerful to hear a, a, a big orchestra play your music yeah it is it's very humbling and yeah. also to have a local uh, fave father john misty hop on piano right <laughs> yes yeah. that was a, a strange thing <laughs> he was like this ghost walking around afterwards <laughs> some some saw him some didn't we didn't talk to him we were busy talking to our parents who were there <laughs> at the show so yeah it's slowly live on kxp um how about a couple more songs yes. yeah
It's a beautiful, lowly live here on the afternoon show. It's KEXP. Uh, two songs from the debut album that came out last year, Heba. Uh, you just heard No Hands and Look at the Sun. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, that sounded uh, fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So Loli uh, from Aarhus, Denmark, playing t tomorrow night at the New Nordic Museum, which is a beautiful space. It's a great place to see a show, uh, playing part of the Nordic Night series with uh, Icelandic artist Sole. And that is uh, tomorrow night. So big time thanks to uh, Jim, Scott, and Justin on video, Morgan uh, taking photographs here, Kevin Suggs on sound, Matt O and uh, Matthew running the board, Susan on hospitality, uh, uh, Melina on... Uh, uh, on the viewing gallery, and then uh, Kelsey for the help behind the scenes as well. And to all the KEXP donors who make sessions here on KEXP possible, thank you so much. And Loli, again, thank you. Thank you for having us. Have a great time in Seattle. Thanks. Thanks. It's KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at kexp.org.